Hi, I'm Lex. And I'm Nate. And we are in Santa Clarita at the highest point that we could climb to. Which is basically the William S. Hart Bench, which we'll show you in another video that visit. But today we decided to try to see if we can find the damage from the recent uh, sand fire in Sand Canyon. From here, we really haven't been able to see too much. Well, and by the way, today is July 30, 2016. One week from the day we shot our last video where the fire was out of control. Now it's 80% contained, so it's almost out, but smoke is still covering this whole valley. And we'll show that to you right now. Hi, it's Nick again. We're here at Soledad Canyon Road where we've got some real evidence of the sand fire that came through here. Yeah, and a lot of the fire is as a result of a five-year drought, so making everything all dry and just fuel for this pretty much devastating fire. But right now it's pretty much contained and a lot of homes were saved. I mean, the firefighters and the rescue teams were great. And yeah, they've done a remarkable job of uh, keeping things set. Uh, it's 80% contained now, uh, but boy, it sure burned through a lot of acreage. Yeah, and there were um, 18 homes that were lost, and unfortunately, one person um, was found burned in their car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think a total of about 33,000 acres. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're burnt, but we'll show that to you right now. Yeah. There's the Metrolink tunnel, and you can still see that there is some smoldering in this blackened canyon. As you can see from the train tracks, um, there was a Metrolink train that is um, had to suspend operations because it was going right through the fire. Okay, well, we showed you the aftermath of the fire. And it is something that it seems like the fire department has got a handle on it now, so hopefully the worst is uh, what uh, we've captured so far. There's still some ash flying around, but it's not as bad as before. So, again, reporting about the Santa Clarita sand fire. It's Lexanique.